Dangerous situation for Ukrainian army in Donetsk. Main supply route may fall into hands of Russians. Pavlo Lakichuk, the head of security programs at the Center for Global Studies Strategy 21, captain of the Ukrainian Navy Reserve, noted that the pokrovsk kostyanty nivka chasivya highway is crucial for logistics for the armed forces of Ukraine. He said this on Espresso TV. Russian forces are advancing, creating threats from several directions. We see Russian units approaching the pokrovsk kostyanty nivka chasivya highway. They are only seven to eight kilometers away from it, and this highway is our main logistics route connecting Ukraine's Toretsk group of troops with the rear. Lakichuk explained, according to the military expert, the pokrovsk kostyantinivka chasivya highway is vital for supplying the Ukrainian armed forces with ammunition, personnel and equipment. It is also used for evacuating the wounded. To a large extent, everything relies on this highway. Russia understands that cutting it would have a significant impact on further combat operations, Lakichuk noted. Outgunned and outmanned Ukrainian soldiers struggling to hold the front line in a brutal months-long Russian siege of Chasivya are increasingly worried about their army's ability to protect their rear. If key supply lines from the west are cut off and if troops to their south are overrun, they risk being choked. It would be critical if the main road for resources, ammunition and everything is captured, or if the Russians approach closer to it, said a sergeant in an artillery unit who serves with the 80th Air Assault Brigade deployed near Chasivya and goes by the name of Bodan. After retreating west from the Donetsk Oblast city of Bakhmut just over one year ago, Ukraine's forces have used the higher ground around Chasivya to inflict massive losses on advancing Russian troops, who this spring made incursions into the town's eastern outskirts. But the predicament for Ukrainian troops struggling to hold Chasivya worsened in past weeks after a poorly organized rotation of Ukrainian soldiers to the south allowed Russian forces to advance towards the Ukraine-held towns of Turetsk and New York. Putin is in a critical situation. He does not have systematic reserves for war in Ukraine. Ukrainian Army General and former head of the Ukrainian Foreign Intelligence Service, Mykola Malomuz, said that Russian President Vladimir Putin is trying to gather allies who will put pressure on the European Union and the United States of America. Putin is in a hurry. He needs to gather a pool of allies who will put pressure on the US. He thinks that if Trump comes to power, he will become his ally and will put pressure on individual countries and the EU to sign peace agreements on Russia's terms. Therefore, Putin is setting the task of capturing even more territories in order to have more advantageous operational positions on the battlefield for pressure, the general explained on the Espresso TV channel. Malomuz emphasized that the Russian president wants to show that the situation will get even worse in the coming weeks. According to the expert, he shows this with his attacks on Ukrainian cities in particular by striking the Okmat Det hospital and other cities. Putin needs to show that the barrage of fire will continue, although I will say frankly, Putin is in a critical situation. Putin does not have systematic reserves. He is bluffing. He is on the edge, and his entourage and the military understand this. But Putin wants to show that he has resources, that he will attack, break through and demand peace, but on Russia's terms under pressure from factors, like he won and worsened the situation on the battlefield, the general noted. At present, Putin's propaganda outlets continue to spread the Kremlin's imperial narratives, presenting them as the only possible way to end the war between Russia and Ukraine. Moscow will hold on to the territory of Ukrainian Crimea to the last because Putin needs an ice-free port as a base for the Russian Navy. And the trillions of dollars worth of mineral and metal deposits in Donbass are also a significant prize that the Kremlin does not want to let go of. Having gained additional access to the Black Sea after the illegal occupation of the Crimean Peninsula, Putin cannot help but realize that the presence of military bases in Crimea does not offer any advantages in the current situation. After all, these bases are now convenient targets for Ukrainian missiles and drones.